Hello, Kenji Likes Waffles here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a combination lock like this that opens a door. So I'm gonna show you guys like like how it works. Put in the combination and it'll open up pretty much. Yeah. And once you're done, just press the reset button. And it'll close. So this is what it looks like when you're finished. Slightly. <laughs> Well, kind of. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this. Okay. What you want to do is get, get your building block that you want to use. And just make a 3x3 three three wall. Kind of like this. And if you want to do it like this, and sure, because I like having an outline. Afterwards, just place buttons all over this front. You go to the back. And... Pretty much do the same, but with redstone torches. And we're going to be wiring this torch right here, which is going to be... You're going to break this block, and go out four more. One, two, three, four. Put redstone um, repeater, and red, more redstone right here, and another redstone repeater. Next, we're going to be powering these two, the corners. And we'll... God dang. <laughs> and then you're going to be putting two redstones like that, and the same on this side. Okay, now we are going to power, or do this one. Want to do? What you want to do is to place a block like that, a redstone right there, and another block. You're gonna have to put a repeater right here, so that one's wired. And afterwards, we're gonna do the sides. You're going to have to put two of your building blocks like that. Redstone, uh, or redstone repeater, then redstone, and then two redstone repeaters. Same on the other side. Let's do that. Okay, now afterwards, we are going to power the top corners. What you're going to do is just build a staircase like that. Afterwards, just place your redstone, and do that. Okay, the last wire to do is to do the top. And you're going to have to make three blocks like that, and then make a staircase going down. Like that. Okay, so you're going to have to put a redstone, redstone repeater, sorry, um, just like that. Then redstone, again and another repeater. Afterwards, you're going to have to place like your building block all the way through across and place torches like so. So this combination lock is going to be four um, four digits. So we're gonna have to have four rows of redstone repeaters. And so like this. And after you're done, after you're done with that, just place blocks like this. Okay. After you've gotten that down, we can. Ha oh yeah. Also place another. An extra block going outwards. Now you could do that. Now you're done with that. We're gonna put in the code. So a way you could do this is to like click all the buttons, see which line gets wired, and like put a sign on which like which one's what. So four is this one right here. So the first code, the first digit, is gonna be all the way in the back, and you're gonna have to place redstone and all the way through, so it doesn't. So these ones don't activate it. And just place redstone like so. Then the second one is going to be two, which is like that. Since there's no other e extra repeaters, you could just place that so. Third one is six, which is over here, and no, like that, okay. And have your building block like that. And place your redstone. 
last one is going to be 8. Click that, click it, and um, it's all the way on the right, or left. And just place blocks like so. If you don't want to do this combination, then um, you could just pretty much rearrange it however you want and have the have as many digits as you want. So then afterwards, what you have to do is place sticky pistons like so, and have your building block go through like that, and just just place on top of the sticky pistons and make sure this this side goes two out. And this one goes one out. Okay, what we're going to do now is to make the reset. Place the button right here. Put your building block right behind it. Place redstone. And then place redstone repeater. Errs. And after that, just place your building block just all the way through and have your redstone go through. And place redstone repeater right here and go alongside here and do that. Afterwards you're going to want to make a little wait for the redstone to get up here. And just build outwards like that. So just do that and Put a repeater somewhere about here somewhere. It doesn't really matter, it's just to keep the current going because sometimes the, the more digits you have, the longer the redstone wire, and you're gonna have to like do that. Then redstone torch, then redstone repeater, then another repeater, another repeater, and another repeater, and another repeater. Afterwards, just place a block right here, redstone, and another block. And um, right now I'm going to be showing you how to make the door. And what you could do is just place two blocks like so. And have your um, piston going out like that. Place a repeater right here. Go outwards like that. And uh, place a block. Then right where this block is right here is go down three or go down yeah like that Build, um and then place redstone or not redstone sorry sticky pistons and you just break these okay then what you want to do is place repeaters put this one on one this one on two and this one on three and just run the redstone through here and place a repeater right here and afterwards, just, um, uh, place your redstone about two blocks, like right, like right there. Place your block, and place two blocks behind it. Then place the redstone repeater, and do that. After, what you're going to have to do is build a staircase like this, and up one like that. Afterwards, just build out three and three. And you're gonna have to put the red or uh, sticky piston like so. You're just gonna want to run this up here and place repeaters one, two, and three. After that, just place your blocks so it makes a square. Not that like that. Just like cover this up, and just make a little hallway if you want to, so that you don't see any of the redstone. Okay. Afterwards, you're gonna want. Or sorry, I forgot to put this. Put a redstone right here to turn on the door. To open the door, you're gonna have to put in the combination. Four, two, six, and eight. And voila, the door opens. It's pretty compact 
for a combination lock and a 3 by 3 door. So, if you like this tutorial, um, hit the like button below, and yeah, I hope this helps you guys. See ya.